it is time to unhaul some books. I have so rarely posted book unhauls. I think I have, have like maybe one on my channel from when I moved and I have three bookshelves worth of real estate and a TBR cart. So I have a lot of room and I realized that I was running out of room and I'm like, you know what? I am trying to reprioritize my bookshelves so that it is a collection of all of the books that I love the most. And I found that like at certain times I've bought books that are maybe not the things that I'm going to love the most or books that I can f read other ways and I don't necessarily need to own a physical copy. So just going into this unhaul with that mindset that um, some of the reasons that I'm unhauling these is not because I don't want to read them ever but just because I don't think I'm going to love them enough to want a physical copy and I will probably read them on audio or digitally on my Kindle because the whole point of getting a Kindle is to stop myself from buying so many books. So that's, that's the idea behind this. So I just have a pile of things that I have pulled off of my bookshelf and I'm just going to go through it as they come up and I'll give a little bit of explanation. I won't go like into the plot too much because I'm getting rid of them. So kind of like what's the point, but I'll go into an explanation of why I'm getting rid of them. Um, just note that any arcs I am either going to just be sending to friends, I might do a giveaway, I might just put them up for people to claim and then they can just pay shipping um, because obviously you cannot sell arcs. Um, I also might trade some. Um, so we'll see, and then all these other books I'm either going to be putting them up for sale if they're like an exclusive edition or just donating them. Like I usually just leave them in like a little free library that's near my work. For someone else to enjoy okay so the first series that i have here is the crown of feathers trilogy by nikki paul Prado in the um owl crate exclusive editions and i got this first book um when i had an owl crate subscription and i never read it and but then because i had the first one i got the second two um heart of flames and wings of shadow so I do think that there is a possibility that I will pick these books up in the future and love them, but like I just don't feel compelled to hold on to the Owl Crate exclusive versions of them as life goes on, especially as I'm like trying to make room for more YA, for more books on my shelves and as I find myself reading less YA, I've had these books for a long time and I haven't picked them up. Next, here is an arc of Girl Serpent Thorn by Melissa Basharotz. Um, I got this at ALA in like 2019, um, obviously before the pandemic. And this is like a very early copy and there may have been some changes between this arc and the final book. I do kind of remember that. And so I feel like I would at this point rather read a finished copy than the arc. So I will be either like putting this up to trade for someone that would maybe want it in their collection trading it for something else or passing this along to somebody else but i would probably pick up the audiobook for this one if i wanted to read it and or get it through my library this is kind of the same story for hang the moon by alexandria bella flora i am interested in this series but i just too i just tend to read romances on my kindle i kind of prefer it that way so i can read in the dark so i don't have the first one in the series this is an uncorrected proof so i'd rather just read the finished copy digitally but I am interested in reading the series. The first one is like a sapphic uh, romance and this one is, I think the main character is bi. I'm picking up this one and I'm unsure about it. So this one might go in my maybe pile, but I have a book of the month copy of Beach Read. And the kind of the reason I wanted to get rid of this one is because I don't necessarily feel like I need to have it in hardcover. I don't know if it's gonna be my absolute favorite and my romance collection are all in paperback. So I would almost prefer to have a paperback to match with the rest of my collection. Although it is kind of nice sometimes to have hardbacks like this. I might put this to the side until I read it and see what I feel about it. Or I might just get rid of it, I don't know. I just like don't know if I feel like compelled enough to hold on to a hardcover copy of it. I could buy a paperback or I have an e-copy of it already. So like why? duplicate that next i have an arc of all of us villains by amanda foodie and christine lynn herman and i just got my finished copy i went to signing for them so i just don't feel like i need to hold on to the arc anymore because i would read from the finished copy that is signed and personalized to me i feel like some people may be surprised by this but um i'm probably going to sell my sorcery of thorns murder rogerson owl crate edition and the reason for this is because 
I actually like the original cover a lot better and I feel like you actually like lose a lot of the detailing of like the flowers on the side when it's in purple so while I like the purple cover it's not like so it's not better than the original that I feel compelled to hold on to this even though it's one of my favorite books um so I think I'll just pass it along to whoever wants to buy it for their collection I, I mean I was literally like hiding this behind the main book when I had it facing out on my shelf for like a year I didn't even display it on my shelf so like that's how I kind of know that's ready to let it go okay here we have define me by Tarana Mafi. I already unhauled the rest of the series I liked it I don't feel compelled to hold on to it I'm like why am I just holding on to this one book if I get around to reading this one the conclusion and like the whatever novella that just came out I will read it on audio or from my library on my Kindle. I just don't feel compelled to hold on to the physical copy. Okay, here we go. Better Together by Christine Riccio. Um, this is a book that I was actually sent unsolicited. I did love it. I actually gave it five stars when I read it. Maybe it's more like a 4.5. But like, my thing with like contemporaries is that I just never feel like I'm going to read them again or like they're my absolute new favorite thing that I need to hold on to it. So I'd rather just pass it along to someone else that would maybe enjoy it so yeah I, I just don't ever see myself rereading this okay so these next few are a bunch of arcs that I have most of them I either got at like a book conference I traded for or they were set unsolicited so they weren't even things that I requested um, and I'm just gonna trade them with someone or give them away because I've had them for a really long time and I haven't read them so while Paris slept by Ruth Jurass, this is a historical fiction. I rarely ever read historical fiction. Incendiary by Zoraida Cordova. This one does seem intriguing, but like I'm not really reading as much YA anymore. Be Not Far From Me by Mindy McGuinness. I feel like this is one that I would really enjoy on audio because I love female of the species on audio. So that's probably how I would choose to experience this book. This one's hard, but <laughs> Godstorm by Coco Ma. I just never got around to it. And I, like I said, like everything is so easily accessed digitally if I don't feel like so connected to a book why hold on to the physical copy The Black Swan of Paris by Karen Robards um, this one seems really interesting but I'm probably gonna pass it along to my grandma who reads more historical fiction and if she says it's worth it then I would take it back from her but um, this one was actually catching my interest but like I said I would probably pass it on to my his certified historical romance vetter which is my grandma she will tell me the ones that are worth it to read and then we have Skybreaker by Addie Thornley. I was sent this kind of unsolicited and um, I never read the first one. So why hold on to the sequel? Here I have my box set of the Infernal Devices by Illumicrate and I think I'm going to part ways with them. And that's just because I, they're really gorgeous but I just don't really have room on my Shadowhunter shelf to have more than one collector's edition and the editions that I'm really collecting are like the official ones like through publishers so like the anniversary editions or um, the Waterstones edition so I'd rather focus on collecting those and sell these. Um, I just like wasn't super impressed with it and I feel like the color scheme doesn't necessarily match the rest of the Shadowhunters books so I will be selling these to someone that wants them. Here we have Lake's Edge by Lindell Clipstone. This is the Owl Crate version. I just liked the original cover more. I love this book, but like I don't feel compelled to hold on to two copies of it, especially when I like the like regular one better. This next one maybe would be a surprise to some people. Um <laughs> but I'm gonna unhaul The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiebotter. Um I read it and I loved it when I read it, but I don't feel connected to the series anymore. And I hate that like the binding was so tight that like the spines on these are really ruined. And so like I would probably, if I want to keep them from my collection, try and find them in hardcover. And I don't feel like I love them enough to do that. So I would rather donate them. Also, there is the like sequel series and I don't really have any interest in reading it. Like maybe I'd pick it up on audio, maybe, but. Some hard decisions were made here. Next we have The Secret Bridesmaid by Katie Birchall. This is an arc. Um, I read it and I enjoyed it, but I don't need to hold on to it anymore. So I will be trading it, passing it along to someone. Here we have Charlie Travesty, um, which is a like 
serial series by Jesse Elliott and KJ Sutton. I picked this up because I love Fortuna Sworn by KJ Sutton. Um, but apparently this series is being discontinued and I don't want to start something that does not have an end, a satisfying conclusion. So I'm just going to unhaul it. Circle of Shadows by Evelyn Skye. I got this in a fairy loot a long time ago. Um, it has really pretty sprayed edges. I have read her one of her books, um, like the King's, it was like the Russian inspired one. Um, and this one seems like pretty cool. But it just doesn't seem like anything that I will get to anytime soon. So I'd rather sell the exclusive edition to someone that wants it for their collection. And if I want to pick up this one in the future, pick it up a different way. Warcross and Wildcard by Marie Lu. I bought these forever ago because I do think the covers are really pretty, but I haven't read them yet. It's been like four years and I haven't read them yet. So I think it's just time to part ways. This is a video game based series. So I think it would be cool to listen to on audio if I do ever want to pick them up again. Two Best of Boys by Mary Weber. Um, this is pretty cool sprayed edges. This one I got in a book box and it seems intriguing, but um, I, I never picked it up and I don't ever hear anyone talking about it and like it just doesn't seem like something that would be capturing my attention anytime soon that I would feel compelled to read it. So um, now here are a, some book of the month books. So I was like a book of the month YA rep for a while and I got sent some of these books. Um, and I don't know, I like it's kind of just the same story with all of these. Like I would read them one day, but I don't need to own them physically for now. Um, we have The 10,000 Doors of January by Alex E. Harrow. The Downstairs Girl by Stacey Lee. I've heard this one's really good, but again, it's historical fiction. I don't read historical fiction a lot. Would probably get it from the library. Um, and Frankly in Love by David Yoon would probably get it from the library. This one's kind of hard. Shadow Frost by Coco Ma. I liked it, but I don't feel compelled to keep it. These are a bunch of arcs that I was sent that like I either was just not interested in the story and DNF'd it or didn't read it didn't like it that much or I own a copy like digitally so I don't need to own it physically um and we have The Splendor by Brina Shields, Forestborn by Elaine Audrey Becker which I DNF this one, To Break a Covenant by Allison Ames um just wasn't my style, What We Devour by Lindsay Miller I read it and didn't really like it and A Spot of Trouble by Terry Wilson this one actually seems really cute um, but it's kind of like past publication time and I have it digitally so I don't really need to hold on to it physically. And another one, A Golden Fury by Samantha Coho. Never read it. I have a digital copy if I want to read it, but I'm not super interested at the moment. You know, I feel bad saying this that I'm not interested in these books, but like there's so many books to read in the world. I should be focusing my energy on the ones that like really capture my attention. Um, okay, so here we have Capture the Crown by Jennifer Estep. This seems interesting. It is a fantasy romance kind of I guess but like it's not super catching my attention I always sent it unsolicited in a book box so I'm just not gonna keep it The Savage and the Swan by Ella Fields I bought this one because I like the cover and like I really feel like I could have just read it digitally and, and been fine I don't feel like I need to add it to my fantasy romance shelf because I didn't love it like that much so it's gonna go <sighs> Call Down the Hawk by Maggie Stiebutter I feel bad getting rid of this one but like I am just not really interested in reading it at this time if I do read it, it would probably be on audio. These are a bunch of historical romances that I was sent unsolicited, so I don't really have any idea what like most of them are about. I just thought it was like a really cute package where I don't have space for them, and I read all my romances for the most part digitally, and then I like will pick up a physical copy if it's an author that I really love, you know, part of a series that I already love, or if I read it digitally and I'm like, this is my new absolute favorite, and then I will read, then I will buy a physical copy. But if I'm interested, I will read them digitally first. If I'm interested, I will probably read those books like digitally one day. Here are a few more arcs I was sent that I mostly have digital copies for, so I don't need to hold on to physical ones. In the Watchful City, A Spindle Splintered, The Lost Girls, and You've Reached Sam. Uh, I've heard really great things about this one, but like I said, I have a digital arc, so I don't really want to hold on to the physical arc because I could just read it digitally. Victory is Greater Than Death, this was um, an arc that I read, it was a sci-fi book. I really enjoyed it actually, um, but I don't feel the need to hold on to it anymore now that I've already read it. So I will trade this to someone, pass it along to someone who wants to read it. Here I have some um, Owl Crate editions that I'm probably just going to sell 
because like I said, I'm just buying way less YA these days and I'm not as interested in the genre. Like, okay, I, not to say that I'm not as interested in the YA genre, but I find myself really reading just like the best selling books in YA and not a lot of the mid list title, which like is kind of sad, but I just find myself like, I'll really only read a YA book if it's like really popular and someone's talking about it. And most of the other time I'm spending in romance and like more adult things, which is like kind of sad. And I will never give up like YA fully because it's something that I love so much, but I just notice that my like attentions are drifting, which is completely normal. Like I'm 26 years old. So obviously I'm kind of more interested in like more adult things now. So um, I'm just like letting go of some of these books that I just don't think that I would get to anytime soon. But like I said, like there's always the possibility that I will pick this up on another format, but I don't feel the need to keep an exclusive version of it. So that one is This Poison Heart by Kaylin Barron and Sisters of the Snake by Serena and Sasha Nuana. I'm actually getting rid of like a decent amount of auto owl crate books. I was kind of like, I want a giveaway for them or something like that. Um, they're werewolf shifter romances and like while I'm not opposed to shifter romances, I don't know if I'll get to these anytime soon. Um, and I would probably read them on my Kindle. All of these next books are ones that were sent to me by publishers or book boxes, kind of like unsolicited so I didn't really like ask for them and I just don't have an interest in them. So Dragonfly Girl by Marty Lembach. So like a girl that's looking for like an academic um, cure for death and I don't <laughs> tend to read a lot of books that are like about like real life like death speculation because death is my worst fear. Queen of Empire by H.R. Moore. This is in that pile but it's actually one that I've read and I enjoyed but I don't feel compelled to hold on to it. The Bone Maker by Sarah Beth Durst. I got in a book box, not interested in it. If I Tell You the Truth by Jasmine Quare, Lobizona, and Casadora um, by Romini Garber. Like, I feel bad not reading these, but like, I just, I get, I got sent it unsolicited by the publisher. Like, I didn't ask for these books. So, I'm gonna get rid of them. The Tragedy of Dane Riley by Cat Spears, another unsolicited book sent to me that I'm not interested in. Tempest of Bravour by Valina D'Angelis. The Conductors by Nicole Glover. The Stranger Behind You by Carol Goodman. And The Secret Next Door by Rebecca Taylor. I got these in book boxes and I'm just not a thriller gal. If I read a thriller, I listen to it on audio. Um, and then one last book that I have to get rid of is Keepers of the Lost City by Shannon Messenger. This is um, a paperback copy that I got from my collection because I'm like collecting all the books because it has like extra content and then it came super damaged and I meant to return it and then I never did. And so I'm just gonna get rid of it, um, donate it to someone that would maybe just want to read the series and don't mind about the damage. But like for me, it's like it was an extra copy and then it just, Came super damaged and then I was like I don't actually need all the content that's in here um it's not like super important so and then I'll just finish out with two maybes so I have Defy the Night by Bridget Kemner I read this arc loved it but I have a finished copy now I was always like a, do I hold on to the arc for the memories of having the arc or do I just pass it along to someone else that I would want to read the book um this one I'd probably send to a friend that's interested um and then Catwoman Soul Stealer by Sarah J Mass. I love this UK copy but it's like a Am I ever going to reread this book? Did I just buy it because it's Sarah J Mass? I listened to an audio and enjoyed it, but like, I don't know. So I'm just going to put these into the maybe pile and see what I feel about them in the future. So yeah, that was actually kind of tough to film just because I feel bad getting rid of books, but I want these books to like go to homes where they will be loved and appreciated. And with me right now, they are just kind of taking up space and I don't think I'll ever read them. And like I said, it's not like I'll never read these titles ever but I would probably pick them up in a different format than owning them physically, so. It was tough. I'm trying to restructure my book buying and trying to only buy the books that I think are gonna be like my favorites that I'm gonna wanna keep on my shelves so that eventually I won't have like this turnover. I'll just buy books and read them and love them and I kinda wanna slow down my book buying so that I'm only buying books as I'm reading them. You guys gotta know how hard that is. It's hard. It's tough, but it's a goal of mine because that's how I used to read before all of this happened. So let me know your thoughts on my video down below. Leave a little scissors emoji because now we're cutting books out of my collection um, down below. If you watched this and enjoyed it, let me know your thoughts and opinions and as I reach the books, I'll catch you guys in the next one.